So this is what preparing for going for a walk looks like. <laughs> it's all a big mess and that's Harvey's mess. But yeah, it'll all be organised into this bag soon. Friday the 27th of December and Harvey and I are heading up Kinder Scout today. We've just set off <laughs> we just set off from Edale. Um we are planning well I have planned a kind of nine and a half, ten mile walk on the Kinder Plateau. I've actually never done the full plateau before, so it should be quite cool. It's a pretty mild, cloudy day. We're probably both overdressed. I'm definitely a bit too hot. I think it might get quite cold up top. Yeah, it will definitely be cold up top. So yeah, I thought we'd come out for a festive hike in the Dark Peak and enjoy it being quite quiet. There's not many people around, which is really, really nice. So. It's misty and atmospheric. Yeah. It's nice. But I might find melodies and trees hang by my side No one is all I need now All the symmetry makes me wonder Could it carry me through dark days of summer? Just got up onto the Kinder Plateau by Jacob's Ladder Yeah, we've probably walked up into the mist now <laughs> Can't see a lot We do. <laughs> it's very really nice. Yes. Oh, look at the birds.
so we are up at the wolf packs now and um, this is where I camped uh, last year when I camped on kinder and it's very different conditions today it's very cold still but yeah there's just absolutely no view whatsoever but um, me and Harvey actually really like it when it's like this it makes it super atmospheric and kind of moody so yeah it's really nice being up here and just seeing all these rock formations kind of appear out of the mist is really, really nice. So what we got today then, Athena? Um, we've got some celeriac and pancetta soup in here. Mm. Should still be hot. Mmm, yum. Yeah, and I can see I've the heat coming off it. And some croutons and crispy pancetta. Do you want to have a look? And maybe these wax wrap. So these are going to go on top. This is a very posh hilltop meal. <laughs> this is very posh. Proper. Yum. <laughs> Christmas leftovers. Yeah, Christmas leftovers. <laughs> mm. How is it? It's so good. It's so hot and it's like exactly what I think we both want. It's like really warming. Mm. So, so good. Yum. Nice. No, there's only two pieces of potato left. So you need that. Yeah. Cool. So I'll just show you our route that we have done today. So we started here at the car park in Edale, past the station, walked up through the village and then got onto the Pennine Way and you followed this all the way through Upper Booth, all the way along to Jacob's Ladder, which you can see here. We walked up Jacob's Ladder and then got onto the Kinder Plateau and followed this path all the way past the Woolpacks up here kind of staying on top of the plateau and we are now at this point here where you can descend down Gonslow Knoll but we are gonna carry on up here and head to Upper Tor and Nether Tor and then descend down Olabrook past Olabrook Farm and then back to our starting point here so we're a little over halfway now and the whole route altogether is nine and a half miles. So we've just started to descend from Kinder Scout, um, from Upper Tor, was it Upper Tor, the second one? Uh, Nether Tor. Nether Tor, sorry. So we passed Upper Tor first, then Nether Tor, and then just after Nether Tor you start descending. Um, as there's literally no clearance at all, it's quite difficult to see exactly where we should be. I mean, you can see the paths, but normally you can see features on the horizon. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we are on the, the right path, heading down. As we were walking up on Kinder Scout uh, just before, we bumped into a couple with a really nice dog, really lovely couple with a really lovely dog, um, who were doing the walk up on Kinder because they watched my last video. And yeah, they shouted and said, hey, 
which was so nice it really made my day to know that someone watched that video and down this way I think Harvey uh, well unless you yeah. yeah you don't have to go sorry but yeah it really made my day to know that someone watched that video um, of me talking about my five favorite walks in the UK and actually decided to go and do one of those walks so yeah I'm sorry that there was no view for you guys but um, hopefully now you know the route you can come back and do it in the spring t in the springtime um, and yeah hopefully you enjoyed it and didn't get lost anyway and thanks for saying hey So one of the reasons I really wanted to come up Kinder Scout today is because Harvey and I moved to our own place in the Peak District or very near to the Peak District. Ooh. I'm falling over <laughs> um, about a month and a half ago yeah, and kind of yeah and Harvey's never been up Kinder Scout and I feel like it's a bit of a rite of passage when you move to the Peak District that you have to go up Kinder and experience Kinder Scout um, so Harvey what did you think of it despite the fact that we had like literally no view at all what did uh, you think yeah, of your but first I think that time? Kind of, like, makes it in a way cause... yeah uh, it means there's not so many people out. Well, there's still quite a lot of people. Yeah. Um, considering. Yeah. Um, everyone's trying to burn off Christmas, and uh, I mean just with, like with all the rock formation that there is up on the top with yeah. the tours, like it just makes it just that gives it that edge, slightly mystical. Uh, and I like it when all the edges close in the fog just kind of hides and you sort of you're in your own little bubble where you can only see as far as the mist allows you and uh so that just makes it just gives just gives the british country countryside uh this edge yeah i really like it yeah and um it's been beautiful and now we've Fantastic. just got to a really nice viewpoint that looks down on edale so this must be the nab right? i think this is the nab so i'll show you now where we are so this is the view from the NAB down to Edale. This is Edale here. And from here we are following, so we've come from here and now we are following this path which goes along. And then you can kind of just see this little valley here. And this is where the heather looks amazing in the springtime. So I'll definitely come back in the spring and show you. But yeah, we're gonna descend down Olabrook here, all the way down this field to Olabrook Farm which is here and then we take the farm track back to Edale so we're almost back now and are we gonna go to the pub yeah I reckon rambler in we'll go to the yeah. rambler I think it's got a nice fire picking up litter yeah I think. Mm -hmm. 